think what's unique about my grandfather and Madeline is that he was so successful and such a fantastic writer and illustrator both. I, I can't really think of another person who's, who's done children's books who's quite as accomplished. Um, not only was he a very successful painter, um, but he was also, he wrote, I think, 20 books for adults. He wrote over 200 magazine articles, was a regular contributor to The New Yorker for both um, covers and, and for fiction. And I think what he really brought, where Madeline really is something um, apart, is it was published in 1939. And at the time, most children's books, illustration, the idea was really to illustrate the story, to illustrate the words. And they weren't, um, the pictures really weren't meant to stand on their own. My grandfather really came from things at a very, just very visual, very graphic. He was definitely, his pictures are deceptively simple. He was, he knew plenty about expressionism and fauvism and um, he is, he had just an incredible library of art books. Um, he was also, he grew up in the Tyrol um, in the Alps and there's a very naive native folk art um, there that he also really assimilated into his own work. And his original dream, his first dream was to be a comic strip um, artist and he did have a comic strip in in the mid 20s which wasn't very successful wasn't very funny which I think was the main problem but the illustrations were just really stunningly beautiful and the first Madeline book was something so different it was there's a part in it Miss Clavel ran fast and faster and it takes about three pages and I can see from his early work that he was working, he was thinking about the panels of a comic strip, one, two, three. It was um, in France, I think in France they call comic books as sequential art and he really used his art in, in that kind of manner and it was actually rejected by, by his editor who said it really wasn't, it wasn't worthy enough, it didn't have enough, uh, didn't have enough depth to it and I feel like there's almost something, and I feel in a way that that's true, and that's also the most fantastic thing about Madeline. It's all about joy, it's about color, it's about movement, it's about life, and there's nothing didactic about it. And I think that that's what children have responded to all these years more than anything else. And I think that that's what a lot of, I really have so many, um, it's incredible how many illustrators children's books illustrators come up to me and say that, you know, my grandfather was, was such a big influence on, on them. And I think um, he really did, he was one of the people who really helped to free um, uh, children's book illustration and really bring it into a more mass popular culture and not something that was such, you know, such an elite sort of thing.